Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to make a hammer class in Oblivion. A person that uses a two-handed hammer. So, you're basically going to pick an orc or anyone you want for that matter because race selection does matter but it also doesn't. But for me, an orc, you're going to have endurance and agility, you're going to pick the warrior symbol and you're gonna pick combat specialty. So your blunt's going to be extremely high. You're gonna be able to destroy everyone with a hammer. Okay? Now, the skill set for this one's interesting because it's not necessarily the beast orc class. The beast orc class is just an orc with the highest health and damage possible. For this one, your main skills are gonna be blunt and heavy armor. So make sure you're wearing heavy armor and you're wielding the hammer. You're gonna pick armorer to repair the stuff and you're really gonna focus here on making your endurance max level. Your endurance is going to be high, so you don't need to pick block as a minor skill, but your endurance needs to get really high really fast, as well as your strength. Your last skills is Restoration, Sneak, Alteration, and Alchemy. So Restoration and Alteration just help increase your blunt skill, as well as your carrying capacity and health. Um, alchemy allows you to make potions, and Sneak is an interesting one. Sneak helps with your damage. If you get your Sneak high level, you do extra damage with sneak attacks. Now, I don't think a hammer, since it's two-handed, it gets uh, buffs. So, take that with a grain of salt. I'm not, I don't use two, I have never used a two-handed weapon and snuck around before. So, if you need to, carry around a mace for the initial sneak attacks. But, mainly with this class, you run around beating the crap out of people with a hammer. That's, that's what you do is a hammer class. It is the hammer. The way to go. You basically avoid blocking. Your block is your alteration, which you should have like a shield thing. Um, if you want a different sign, pick the tower, then you can cast reflect damage um, and also make some epic reflect damage armor. But your armor for this one, very simple. We want the hammer to do as much damage as possible. So, you maximize all blunt and strength enchantments you can. Just maximize. Do it all. Okay? Do everything you can. A restoration spell that fortifies your blunt. That hammer should two-shot everything it comes into contact with maximum. Now, um, restoration has the uh, fortified blunt. You want your shield for, you know, your alteration. And you also want feather when it comes to alteration. Because alteration, um, when you have feather, it helps if you want to carry an extra hammer back to your house or enchant a different hammer or have different hammers with you. Alteration just helps with that. And that, um, if I'm not mistaken, restoration and alteration are part of willpower. I don't know what alteration is. I know restoration is willpower. And willpower affects your total fatigue. Which is also getting into the agility part. Sneak is there to increase your agility because you do not want to get knocked down. All right? You have your endurance. Your strength is going to go up because of blunt. And you also have the agility there because you don't want to get knocked down. So your three main attributes for this class is strength, endurance, and agility. Magic doesn't play a factor in this because you should be able to hit someone hard enough to... Have them fly and fall. Now, if you want to swap something out, swap out alchemy with the illusion spell set because illusion has paralyzes. And paralyzes helps when you can beat the crap out of a target that's on the ground. So for this build, that's basically what you do. You sneak around, you, initi you initiate the damage, you beat the crap out of them, you repair your stuff, you heal yourself, you fortify your blunt skill, maybe you need to carry an extra hammer, you feather yourself, you shield yourself, and then either make potions or paralyze them. That's how you play the hammer class. Um, I, I like making these weird classes, and I think the hammer class is fun. So with that, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoy, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more Oblivion builds. I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode of Streamer Vlog of whatever I decide to make.